okay hi good morning everyone so <clears throat> today what we are going to go ahead and we are going to do our cuet level numericals from the point of view of consumer theory right you can consider them at the level of cuet at the level of um uh south asian university at the level of um you know um base at the level of other institutes also but majorly this is going to be at the level of cuet okay so let us try to look at few of the questions that can be asked in the exam look at the first one try to first solve these kind of questions yourself and then i will go ahead and i will solve this question so the question says if quantity demanded of rice increases by 5% when price of wheat increases by 20% the cross price elasticity of demand for rice would be i think these are some 30 35 questions that i have um, grouped together today and we will do these questions oh i forgot okay just give me a minute now it will be fine now huh? okay just try to do this question so it says percentage change in quantity demanded of rice that is 5% and percentage change in price of wheat is given to you as 20% so what will be your cross price elasticity beta how can we find cross price elasticity cross price elasticity will be percentage change in quantity of rice due to percentage change in price of wheat simple so this is going to be 5 by 20 which means it will be 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is 0.25 so the correct answer to this question should be c 0.25 no negative sign beta positive sign why because increase in price and increase in quantity they are moving in the same direction please understand jab ek ka price badh raha hai to dusre ka quantity badh raha hai so they are moving in the same direction so no negative sign it will be a positive sign here ha huh? so answer will be c this is cross price elasticity acha what can i say about the good what kind of good it is when price of one good increases the demand of other good is increasing these kind of goods can be called as substitute goods exactly so this will be my substitute goods good theek hai okay beta let us go to the next question now okay next question it says suppose demand of good z is going up when the price of good y is going down what can we say about these goods so cvt level will not be very difficult just awareness is required from your side i want 100% awareness in this exam so it is saying demand of good is going up when price of y is going down so it's like this when price of ink decreases demand of ink to increase hoga hi but demand of pen will also increase because these are complementary goods in nature they are used together so exactly the correct answer to this question should be a that these are complementary goods in nature correct theek hai beta let's go to the next question this is what we covered in 
the last class also which was about production one of the class which was about production possibility frontier an outward shift of production possibility frontier may be caused by so remember whenever we talk about outward shift of production possibility frontier it can be when there is either increase in resources or when there is better technology i want to highlight one point here see whenever we talk about production possibility frontier usually the production possibility frontier is concave to the origin this is how we draw production possibility frontier and in the last class we also saw the reason behind it we said that ppc is concave to origin because its slope is increasing right because its slope was opportunity cost right and this opportunity cost was continuously increasing you had to give up more of one good to con to produce additional unit of the other good but suppose in exam they actually go ahead and they flip the question wo kya bol rahe hain consider a production possibility frontier which is convex to origin khud se hi unhone bol diya that the production possibility frontier is your video is at the main screen i'm not sure why that is happening it is showing me fine for others okay ठीक है आई मीन आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग द सेटिंग्स एट द यूजुअल लेवल जैसे हम एवरी कीप इट फॉर एवरी डे क्लास ओके सो आई सो इफ दे गिव एन एग्जाम दैट द पीपीसी इज कॉन्वेक्स टू द ओरिजिन फॉर एग्जांपल इफ दिस इज इटसेल्फ मेंशन देन रिमेंबर दैट इन सच केसेस इट जस्ट मींस दैट इट मस्ट हैव डिमिनिशिंग ऑपर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट right so that will be the case when you will be drawing a ppc which looks like this right so if they themselves tell us this is the usual shape of production possibility frontier which is concave to the origin but it may be possible that in exam they may tell you that ppc is convex it means you have diminishing opportunity cost or they may tell you that a ppc is a straight line that means you have constant opportunity cost because the slope will be a straight line so all these three cases are possible in exam and you just have to be aware about them generally it is like this but this or this may be given to you so they may say that if a production possibility frontier is straight downward sloping line then and then they give you four option so you need to tick that its slope is constant theek okay. hai okay let's come back to the next question now fine so look at this question an indirect utility function is so you need to tell me what of the following is true ha huh. so if ppc is straight line it's not that goods are you can say that they are same in terms of labor and capital intensivity but it just means that the rate at which i want to trade off is similar i mean 
you know we are talking about an economy so the trade off will be at the level of economy not an individual so usko pura substitute good type nahi manenge just that we can consider that when they are being produced the way that capital and labor is being used is very similar that is max what we can go ahead and imply from here theek hai so what about this good uh, this question beta will it be so i have seen that many times what students do i don't know why jaise all of the above option dikhta hai they will always mark all of the above ha so answer to ppc question will be beta this that you have better technology to so better technology can be uh, that you you know you are increasing the efficiency of employees to so, ye ho sakta hai increasing training of the employees theek hai this can be one of the answers okay okay indirect utility function theek hai dekho so beta if i just take my utility function as x y so what is the value of x that we had got m by 2px yahan se x hi aata hai because what is x x is alpha upon alpha plus beta m by px alpha is the power of x and beta is the power of y right so power of x is 1 power of y is 1 so i will get 1 upon 1 plus 1 m by px so this will be m by 2px so we are sure that when we talk about the value of x x is going to be m by 2px and i know that y is going to be m by 2py so this means that my utility function now becomes m by 2px into m by 2py which means it becomes m square by 4px py hai yeah, na when i just plug in the value of x jab maine ye x isme plug in kiya here and when i plug in this y here i will get the utility function as m square by 4px py now look at the first option it says indirect utility function is defined over income and prices that is correct my indirect utility function is coming out to be m square by 4 px py so it is a function of income and prices ye to ekdam correct option hai this is correct there is no issue in this option now let's look at the second part it assumes profit maximization no it assumes utility maximization so the second option is incorrect but can you tell me what is it homogeneous of agar homogeneous of degree exactly so first of all the question is incomplete it should tell us homogeneous of degree in what is it in income and prices is it in income is it in prices so if you don't tell me anything तो मैं हमेशा आई विल ऑलवेज चेक होमोजेनाइटी इन इनकम एंड प्राइस सो इफ आई गो अहेड एंड आई चेक होमोजेनाइटी इन इनकम एंड प्राइस तो तो आई नो दैट इट इज होमोजेनस ऑफ डिग्री जीरो व्हाई? बिकॉज इफ आई विल स्केल माय इनकम एंड इफ आई विल स्केल माय प्राइजेस दोनों को ही स्केल कर दें तो वॉट विल हैपन आई विल गेट लैमडा स्क्वेयर एम स्क्वेयर अपॉन फोर lambda square px py lambda square and lambda square will cancel out and i will get my original utility function back so what is happening in this case that my utility function when i have scaled px py and lambda it is equal to my original utility function so i can say that it is getting multiplied only with 1 and 1 is nothing but lambda to the power 0 so i can say that it is homogeneous of degree 0 but i have a question here suppose yahan pe na they would have said an indirect utility function is or ye option ki jagah they would have written is homogeneous of degree 1 in income 
नाउ वॉट अबाउट दिस ऑप्शन उन्होंने लिख दिया होमोजिनस ऑफ डिग्री वन इन इनकम नाउ इज इट इज इट फॉल्स सोचो और इज इट ट्रू होमोजिनस ऑफ डिग्री वन इन इनकम मैंने आई जस्ट हैव टू इन्फ्लेट इनकम इनकम एंड प्राइज नहीं सिर्फ इनकम के बारे में बात है ओनली इनकम सो वॉट इज माई इनडायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी फंक्शन कमिंग आउट टू बी इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी एम स्क्वेयर बाय फोर पी एक्स पी वाई आई नीड टू ओनली इनफ्लेट इनकम कीप प्राइज अनचेंज्ड इट इज ओनली आस्किंग अबाउट इनकम नाउ तो कर दो इनकम को इनफ्लेट लैमडा एम स्क्वेयर अपॉन फोर पी एक्स पी वाई दिस विल बी लैमडा स्क्वेयर एम स्क्वेयर अपॉन फोर पी एक्स पी वाई दिस विल बी लैमडा स्क्वेयर इन टू ओरिजिनल यूटिलिटी फंक्शन दिस इज माई ओरिजिनल यूटिलिटी फंक्शन वॉट इज द पावर ऑफ लैमडा टू सो वॉट विल बी डिग्री ऑफ होमोजेनाइटी वट एवर इज द पावर ऑफ लैमडा जो भी लैमडा का पावर होगा दैट विल बी योर डिग्री ऑफ होमोजेनाइटी सिंपल तो यहां पर आई एम गेटिंग टू सो इट्स डिग्री ऑफ टू नाउ हियर आई एम गेटिंग जीरो सो होमोजेन ऑफ डिग्री जीरो एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सो दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉल्स राइट ओके सो डिग्री ऑफ होमोजेनाइटी इज सिंपली सेंग बेटा you need to scale that factor and once you scale that factor you need to see what comes out as common just if i give you direct utility function u is equal to xy theek okay? hai and i ask you what happens when i scale x and y agar main x ka consumption lambda se increase kar du and y ka consumption lambda se increase kar du what will happen so lambda square will come out into xy so power of lambda is 2 na this so i can say that my scaled utility function when i scale both x and y i will go ahead and get lambda square times original utility function so this tells me homogeneity and what is the degree of homogeneity to just scale and check just scale the variables theek hai acha very important question so for example it tell me my utility function is root x plus y can anyone tell me what is the degree of homogeneity utility function is root x plus y what will be the degree of homogeneity 